Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shyam and in this video I'm going to talk about the difference between ECMAScript and JavaScript. The purpose of creating this video is to create awareness that ECMAScript is not same as JavaScript. However, these two terms are often used interchangeably. They are related but they are still different. So we have to use these terms consciously. So guys, ECMA is an organization that creates a standard for technologies. ECMA is an acronym of European Computer Manufacturers Association. So ECMA creates standards and has created many standards. And ECMAScript is one of those standards. Okay, so guys, ECMA 262 is the standard published by ECMA, which we also call ECMAScript. It is a specification of a general purpose scripting language as it is used to solve various domain problems. It is used in web browsers prominently, but also used in servers and even in embedded technology. And it is based on JavaScript. It provides the rules, details, and guidelines that a scripting language must observe to be considered ECMA compliant. All right, guys, so we understood that ECMA is an organization that creates standard and ECMA script, which is also called as ECMA 262, is the standard which is created by ECMA for JavaScript. Okay, and JavaScript is a general purpose scripting language that conforms to the ECMA script specification. So when we code, we code in JavaScript, we don't code in ECMA script. So think this way, by reading the ECMAScript specification, you learn how to create a scripting language. And by reading the JavaScript documentation, you learn how to use a scripting language. And talking about a JavaScript engine, so it is a program or interpreter that understand and execute JavaScript code. So guys, whenever in ECMAScript there is new recommendation come to add a new feature in ECMAScript, then it should go through a process that is also called as TC39 process. And TC39 is the name used for a committee called technical committee number 39, which is responsible for standardizing ECMAScript. So guys, the process start with the stage zero, where it is also called as straw man, and where it is started with an ideation of the particular uh, feature, and then it goes through the stage one, uh, where it is proposed, there is uh, some discussions happens, and then it goes to draft where most of the things are finalized, the syntax is finalized, and then stage three is the candidate, which is almost ready, and it is ready to be implemented as an experimental purpose, and based on the feedback, there might be some changes in that particular feature, and once the particular uh, feature reaches the stage four, then it is finalized and it is ready to be implemented by the browsers. So guys, we saw that ECMAScript talks about a specification of how a feature should be implemented by a platform. And it also talks about what would be the syntax and so on, all the details, right? And based on those specifications, which are detailed by the ECMAScript, browser implements those features and then a developer write JavaScript code based on the way browser implemented it actually. And we witnessed that there were few features that Internet Explorer implemented differently in its previous version majorly. But with this standardization, all browsers are now supporting the same syntax and hence makes the code compatible to all the browsers, which without a standardization wouldn't be possible. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this would be helpful. See you next time. Bye.